This is Play North, the Manitoba Games show. The Manitoba Games powered by Manitoba Hydro are happening like right here, guys, right here in Thompson. Thanks for coming to join us. We're at the Burntwood Curling Club attached to the Thompson Regional Community Center. The games are a buzz. There is stuff happening here. You guys, uh, give me your names and your curling team because we're here at the curling rink. So give me your names and how long you've been curling. My name is Katie Lukowicz and I've been curling eight years. My name is Keely Ross and I've been curling eight years. My name is Julia Millen and I've been curling seven years. My name is Lexa Sigurdsson and I've been curling for eight years. Wow, so all together you guys have as many curling years as I am old. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and your manager is? Michelle Sigurdsson. Right on. Michelle, uh, you caught our attention a little while ago. This is one of the biggest gets for Paul and I for the games because uh, we sort of got connected on Twitter and stuff like that. You guys have been reaching out to us a little bit and retweeting and helping us create a buzz for the games. Um, Tell us why we talked a little bit before. You have a bit of a connection to Thompson. So what, what's, what's going on? How come you have an interest in this? Well, Thompson's kind of our second home. So in August, when we decided that we were going to play for the Manitoba Games and try to compete to get a spot, we were pretty excited because my husband and I own the Napa Auto Parts in town. So this is like our second home. So what better way to show off your home and be proud of it and have your kids come here and play with your second community? dynamite excuse to come up to the games and then you get to check out the store and all that stuff too too good you guys uh you've been curling together for a little while tell me have you been a team like you've been curling together since you were zero or uh just a little while um we've been curling all of us together since january okay and the three of you started curling together before that we've been curling together for like three years now and she joined our team last season september september <laughs> Uh, is that when you first started curling or you just you saw these guys and you thought they look pretty cool I'd love to hang out with them. How, how did that come about? We were all kind of friends like before yeah. we always talked. I curled with her a couple years ago So I knew her yeah. right on. And you've curled together obviously a little bit in a few bond spiels before this Have you won any of those bond spiels? Have you had some good success? Uh, tell me tell me one story. What happened? We've won a couple games, but games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, No because we were kind of new to each other, so yeah, just kind of got our start. Did so the hang of it. And to, to qualify for the Manitoba Games, did you just sign up? Did you have to beat some people? How did you guys end up at the games? Uh, we had to beat some people. We won two games to get our spot, yeah. And now you're here at the games. Uh, Thompson's a long way from, where's your home? Uh, we're from Winnipeg. You're from Winnipeg? Okay, St. James? Um, we live, well, I'm from the Kildonan area. I'm from Bozier. Yeah. Ooh, nice add on. Yeah. My, my uncle has a cabin in Bozier. I'm from Fort Gary. Yeah, I'm from East Kildonan. So you guys are pretty spread, pretty spread out Winnipeg wise. When you're from Thompson, you're like, eh, you guys all live right next door to each other. But uh, no, so Thompson's a little ways away from Winnipeg. Have any of you guys been on a trip this long before? Have you ever been on the uh, eight hour bus ride before? Uh, I've driven to Thompson a few times before with my mom and dad. So nice. you know what? Like the back of your hand, Grand Rapids, Bonton, just a day off. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't drove this, drove in this, <laughs> driven this far before. And so what did you do on the bus? How did you uh, fill the time on the bus ride? I don't know. We all downloaded some movies and shows to watch, listen to music. I had a nap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Solid. You guys are like old pros. If you had played Euchre, you would have been me when I was your age. Yeah, we had some naps. Yeah. Kind of did that yeah. stuff. How was the night in the village? So you had your first night in the village. The village is in a school. You're in a classroom. Uh, that's pretty sexy living. This is what it's like to be an elite athlete. So how was your first night in the village? Um, our room was pretty nice. We were with Winnipeg Gold, so it was only like ten of us. Okay. So and yeah, we knew them. So. Yeah, yeah. And it was a little we know. Better. Yeah. yeah. E easy living. Uh, last one, the big, anytime you go someplace, you're at an all-inclusive. This is kind of like an all-inclusive. It's sort of like Cuba. Uh, you always talk about the food. How's the food been so far? It's good. Yeah. I like it. We had hamburgers. We had hamburgers. Those were really good. Yeah. yeah. And last night we had pasta, pasta, pasta and mashed, mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed potatoes. Oh. I love mashed potatoes. And pork. And pork. Oh, pork was good yeah. too. It's all been good. Yeah. This is too good. I'm, I wish I was down there. I know I looked at the burgers. I'm mostly vegetarian, so I looked at those burgers. I was like, maybe today's the day I crack. <laughs> I was so close. I love mashed potatoes, too. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the social media adventures. I mean, you reached out to us. It sounds like you, you're a pro. And uh, so tell us, how much time do you spend on this, and, and what's the secret? I 
probably spend way too much time. Um, <laughs> so are they on screen, so you're even. I yeah. know, but I just tried it. Like I said, we, we appreciate what everybody in the city of Thompson is doing and all the volunteers and everybody that's put this together for us girls and, and, and all the other athletes to participate. So it's really nice. And like I said, I try to take all these pictures, drum up the interest in certain different points of the city that I think people would enjoy when, when I came up here the first time I thought was very great. So that's, that was our main intent, and just to have everybody follow us back home and enjoy it. I, it's working, for sure. Give us, uh, give us your handles. Where, how do people follow you if they aren't already? I can't believe that they wouldn't be, but if they aren't, uh, how, how do they find you? Um, our Twitter account is at Team Lukowicz. So that's what we use as our background, and uh, we have quite a few followers, so we're pretty proud of that. And <laughs> it's nice to keep everybody updated. Beautiful. I absolutely. Follow them at Team Lukowicz. Uh, you guys tuck in just a little bit and help me finish off this interview. Hashtag? Play North.